China chose goods that will cause economic pain to the U.S., like agriculture. But will it change how much you shell out at the grocery store? 10 News reporter Shannon Valladolid spoke with an economist to answer that question. These are some of the products that China is planning on imposing tariffs on. Corn, cornmeal, beef, dried cranberries, OJ. We spoke with local economist Jim Lee, who says this could potentially be a short-term benefit when you head to the grocery store. It could create a surplus because farmers who rely on exporting some of these goods may not be able to. The supply does increase because they can no longer sell it into another market then we may actually see a glut of products, which then may keep prices at where they are or even lower prices. But before you think about how you're going to spend that extra money, Lee says that's only if the U.S. and China don't renegotiate the tariffs, which he says they most likely will before we see prices drop. Uh, short term effect, we probably won't see much of a, a change at all. But once they sit down and negotiate, then we may see something long term um, which may benefit us. And again, tariffs are designed to protect industries and jobs, so it may help our unemployment rate. Lee says President Trump imposed the tariff on China because he wants more made in America products on store shelves and less from China. But that may mean higher prices in the long run for us consumers if we no longer have the option to choose a product from China. Now it's just the waiting game to see what resolution China and the U.S. can agree on. Shannon Valladolid. 10 news. And let's make another thing very clear. The tariffs on items beyond the grocery store. American cars and their parts are on that list. GM sold more than 4 million cars in China in 2017. Also on that list, plastics and chemicals. These tariffs are potentially an issue for American companies that rely on sales to China like Apple, Caterpillar and Intel.